Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, Salatu Wassalamu Ala Rasulullah. Okay, so just uh, uh, the last topic for today is the value of women because it's one of uh, also controversial issues uh, because uh, it's again the same thing, you know. So if they want to show uh, Muslims as, uh, as like uh, the most sinful, they can. And if they want to show us as the most saint, they can again. Okay. Yeah, so but anyway, uh, just to go through some of the ayat and ahadith about uh, the women, okay, so um, as well as we may just quote some of the um, uh, uh, texts from uh, Old and New Testaments just to compare because it's mainly uh, Christians who uh, criticize us uh, behaving with our women or Islam uh, humiliating the women. Anyway, um, um, the first thing is. Uh, um, The first thing is uh, um, Allah criticizing the people who humi humiliate uh, the uh, humiliate having a daughter. So it is in Surah An Nahl, ayah number uh, fifty-eight, fifty-nine. Uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "I want to be learned in Shaitan Rajim." Rajeem Means, if some of them will be given uh, news about their wife being uh, uh, giving birth of uh, a, a girl, baby girl, so then So he will remain very angry and face becomes so dark because of anger and sorrow and then he will go to hide himself so he will just go um, away from his tribe, from the people uh, because of the evil that he has been given news about ayumsikuhu ala hunin am yadusuhu bitturab means um, so he will be thinking shall he keep the daughter but being humiliated by people because people will humiliate him am yadusuhu bitturab or shall he bury her in the dust ala sa'a ma yahkumun and then Allah says it is so bad judgment that they are doing. If you remember, mm -hmm. in the time of Rasulullah, in the time of Jahiliyyah, uh, having a daughter would be humiliating. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they used to have uh, two main problems because of it. The first is uh, having daughter is weakness because you have to protect her and she does not protect nothing. First thing, and then th the second thing they used to say, you will grow her, feeding her all, all her life, and after that you have to go to give her away. So someone else will enjoy her. Mm. Okay, so that's why they used to uh, uh, believe that uh, uh, daughter is the source of evil. Okay, so Allah did criticize it very badly. Okay, so um, uh, Quran which makes this type of very aggressive statements about that type of people who are humiliating uh, uh, daughters, it cannot, I mean this Quran cannot humiliate women. Okay, so anyway. Uh, as well as, if you remember, um, uh, the same practice, Allah criticizing them in Surah Taqwir, وَإِذَا الْمَوْؤُودَةُ سُئِلَتْ بِأَيِّ ذَنْبٍ قُتِلَتْ means, when uh, in the Day of Judgment, uh, uh, a life buried girl will be asked why she has been buried, why she has been killed. Okay, yeah, so it is like, uh, again, uh, Allah is criticizing that practice very badly. Okay, as well as in Surah An Nahl, ayah number ninety-seven, Allah says, "Man amila salihan min zakarin aw unsa, wa huwa mu'minun, fala nuhiyannahu hayatan tayyiba." Anyone who does good deed, min zakarin wa unsa, male or female. Okay, so it's not male. Okay, male or female, wa huwa mu'minun, and as long as he is a believer, fala nuhiyannahu hayatan tayyiba. We are going to resurrect him in very. Uh, a good life, hayatan tayyiba, very perfect life. وَلَنَجْزِيَنَّهُمْ أَجْرَهُمْ بِأَحْسَنِ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ And who will reward them both, male and female, uh, the Lord will give them reward by something which is much better than what they did practice. Okay, well, uh, and it's very famous that in the old uh, and other religions, uh, the status of women is not like that. Am I right? Because they say um, women is the source of evil. Well, as Jahili say, am I right? Because she is the one who convinced our father to eat that fruit, and because of her, it's like, uh, am I right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so as you can see, there is no difference. 
as well as فَاسْتَجَابَ لَهُمْ رَبُّهُمْ أَنِّي لَا أُذِيَوْا عَمَلَ عَامِلٍ مِنْكُمْ مِنْ ذَكَرِنَا وَأُنْثَى بَعْضُكُمْ مِنْ بَعْضُ Surat Al-Imran, Ayah No. 195 Allah did accept the dua of you and Allah is promising you that I'm not going to neglect your practicing, your deeds It doesn't matter مِنْ ذَكَرِنَا وَأُنْثَى If you are male or female بَعْضُكُمْ مِنْ بَعْضُ So there is no difference if you are male or female because you are one of you are from the other so male is from female and female is from male okay so no difference okay so it is just beautiful ayah um, and uh, as I'm saying so but um, uh, media is much stronger than me speaking here you know so they can just uh, make like uh, like a small episodes and then they will show whatever as well as if you remember um, the women's right uh, used to be neglected so married, but no any like mahar uh, etc. Uh, so Allah says, "Wa atul nisa so the khatu hina nihla." So when you are marrying them, make sure that you are giving their gift. Okay, so it's not optional, but Allah is ordering actually. It's uh, Surah An Nisa, Ayah number four. Uh, and then uh, Surah Surah Al Baqarah, Ayah number two hundred twenty-eight. وَلَهُنَّ مِثْلُ الَّذِي عَلَيْهِنَّ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَلِلْرِّجَالِ عَلَيْهِنَّ دَرَجَةٌ means women have the same right uh, upon their uh, husbands okay as well as so, so the same right which husbands have uh, from their women okay but yet وَلِلْرِّجَالِ عَلَيْهِنَّ دَرَجَةٌ but uh, husbands have one step more which is the right of divorce because the uh, responsibility of the maintaining is uh, uh, their duty so that's why the right of divorce is in their hand. So that is the one extra level, which is in the hand of a man. <coughs> uh, again, um, uh, Allah says in Surah Baqarah, Ayah number 229, After divorcing for two times, twice, so imsakum bimaruf, either you are keeping them bimaruf according to the uh, good custom, or you are releasing them but be ihsan on the good way so no friction no insult and no excitement so it is again another well uh, behaved manner um, and then surat uh, it is surat uh, al-baqarah again uh, ayah number 214 uh, for, uh, i'm sorry 241 and 242 so the divorcee ladies husbands they have to give a gift for the divorcee ladies, okay? Now, for example, uh, normally divorce is the source of all of the frictions. Hmm. But Allah says, it's not that, but after you're divorcing her, make sure that you give a gift. Okay, so we say, um, um, uh, there are three situations in which uh, the gift will be recommended and, and one situation in which it will be fart and wajib, okay? Um, كَذَلِكَ يُبَيِّنُ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ آيَاتِهِ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَعْقِلُونَ So that's how Allah explains His ayat, very detailed way. So that's how you may get uh, uh, using your brain. Um, as well as um, ayah number uh, 236, it's again Surah Al-Baqarah. وَمَتِّعُوهُنَّ عَلَى الْمُوسِعِ قَدَرُهُ وَعَلَى الْمُقْتِرِ قَدَرُهُ مَتَاعًا بِالْمَعْرُوفِ حَقًّا عَلَى الْمُحْسِنِينَ So it is against the divorcee ladies. Allah is saying, مَتِّعُوهُنَّ Give them a gift. Okay? So accordingly, عَلَى الْمُوسِعِ قَدَرُهُ So the gift should be based on the level of the husband. So if husband is rich, so then gift should be the gift of rich people. وَعَلَى الْمُقْتِرِ قَدَرُهُ As well as even if you are poor, yet you have to give some gift after you divorce your wife. But according to your level, حَقًّا عَلَى الْمُحْسِنِينَ It is the duty upon the righteous people. Mm. Okay, so it's not, uh, it's really highly respecting. So even Allah considers the divorcee lady being given some gift, so it is very high uh, morals. <coughs> um, okay, so in terms of the... Um, and the ahadith, there are many many ahadith uh, uh, so for example that hadith of Ibn Asakir uh, saying that um, uh, it's only the uh, great noble people respect their women and only a miserable la'im means miserable people disrespect their women, their ladies or another hadith in which Rasulullah says says khayrukum khayrukum li ahli the best amongst you is the best who are 
to their wife, to their ladies. If you remember, hadith is very famous. As well as uh, Rasulullah says, hadith is in <coughs> Bukhari from Sayyidah Aisha, Man bulya min hadhihi al-banati shay'an, fa ahsana ilayhinna kunna lahu sitran min al-nar. So anyone who, ha who will be given uh, a daughters, okay, uh, and then he will, um, so he will be treating them very well. So, uh, so there will be protection from, uh, uh, for him from the hellfire. Okay, so it is very um, highly uh, respected um, uh, way. <clears throat> okay, so anyway, um, as well as if you remember, um, uh, so it is the issue that we did touch upon because in the uh, other. Um, Gospels, uh, uh, they uh, put the responsibility of us leaving paradise on our mother, uh, Hawa Amara, mm -hmm. the wife of Adam Amara. But then Quran doesn't put the responsibility on the women. But what uh, Quran says, فَأَزَلَّهُمَ الشَّيْطَانُ عَنْهَا فَأَخْرَجَهُمَا مِمَّا كَانَ فِي So Iblis, Shaitan, Satan, did uh, misguide them. Or أَزَلَّهُمَا made them to fall down, both. Okay, so it's not, uh, 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 it's not like a, uh, uh, shaitan speaking to women and women speaking to man. It's not that. Okay, and even if you go to listen to the conversation which uh, um, uh, happened uh, between Adam and Sayyidah Hawa and shaitan, okay, so he was, shaitan was using dual uh, form. Okay, ما نهاكما ربكما عن تلكما الشجرة إلا أن تكونا ملكين أو تكونا من الخالدين. So Shaitan saying, Allah didn't forbid you to go and eat from that fruit you too, because He did not want you to to be angels or to be uh, pre-eternal, you know, or uh, eternal, uh, infinitive. Okay, so Shaitan is speaking to both. Okay, so we do not say that it's, uh, our mother is uh, the one who did do it to our father, but we say it's Iblis did it to both of. Both of them. So Quran puts the responsibility on the Iblis, not on Sayyidah Hawa. Okay, so it is um, a really good way of. Uh, <clears throat> Again, um, so it is just a couple of. Um, uh, because it's like comparisons, because uh, there are many Christians, they do uh, mention that Quran humiliates them. So let's. Uh, uh, so if these ayat and hadith are humiliating, so then let's look into their texts to, just to learn what's the meaning of non humiliating. So then it is uh, the Sifrul uh, Khuruj, I don't know, it's uh, the third uh, gospel, I think, in, in Torah. So it says that if a person sells his uh, daughter as a she slave, so she shouldn't be living as, um, uh, as a slave's leave. Okay, so uh, in here we say uh, um, a man, so in this place, uh, um, a man is given a right of selling his daughter. Okay, so it is, if it's not humiliation, so then what's the humiliation? Okay, and uh, in our gospel, Prophet says, anyone who sells the free man and eats the uh, money from that uh, sold free man, so then Rasulullah says, I will be his, uh, the person with whom he will be dealing, and anyone who will deal with me, definitely I will destroy him. Mm. Okay, so... Um, as well as um, in the um, uh, uh, in the Gospel of Lawin, I don't know what's the what's the Lewitz or what do they call it? Leviticus, maybe. Leviticus, maybe. Yeah. So it is um, yeah, uh, Old Testament. Uh, Old Testament. Yeah, yes. Leviticus, probably. Yeah. So it is fifteen uh, thir thirty-two. So in there, it um, uh, it mentions that um, lady when she will be in uh, the monthly circle. Okay. So then, just by touching her, person becomes filthy also by himself, okay? Um, so then even anyone who touched the, uh, the carpet or the sofa or even the mattress in which that lady sleeps, so he becomes filthy also, he has to wash everything to purify himself, okay? So if you remember, so let's compare this to uh, our, um, uh, our uh, things, um, our text, so if you remember, um, once Rasulullah did ask Sayyidah Aisha to pass the prayer mats. So then Sayyidah Aisha said, Ya Rasulullah, I'm in the circle, monthly circle. So then Rasulullah said, Laysat haizatuki biyadiki. Your monthly circle is not in your hand, so pass it to me. Mm. Okay, so as you can, if you can see, as well as um, uh, 
uh, the, there is a hadith in which uh, 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 Rasulullah was uh, uh, in, with his lady and suddenly she got up. Okay, so then Rasulullah did ask her, uh, did you start bleeding? She said, yes, Ya Rasulullah. Rasulullah asked her to go and to put on the uh, clothes and to come back. Okay, so then Rasulullah did uh, hug her and kiss her. Okay, so uh, there is no any, um, uh, so it is not comparable. One is from West and one is totally from different uh, places. <coughs> um, okay, so as well as... Um, 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 and uh, th there is Tasnia uh, to uh, Tashira, I think it's the second gospel in the Torah. Okay, so it is the uh, 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 verse number 20, 25, chapter number 25, verse number 11. So in there it says that uh, if two people, two men will be like uh, um, uh, uh, beating each other, like a friction, and then the wife of one of them will come out, and if she just in order to help her husband if she drags him back and not deliberately if she touches the uh, private place of her husband so then her hand has to be chopped off okay so then um, uh, and then even in there it says wala tushfiq ainuk and even do not feel uh, sorry towards them okay when you're chopping off the, the uh, their hand okay so um uh, and then it's not comparable to how Quran acts, how Quran deals with women. Okay, so even if you remember, there is um, <coughs> there is um, ayah in which uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala criticized the jahili people when they were not giving the um, the share of the women in inheritance. Okay, so Allah says, "Wata'kuluna turasa akla lama." You are eating the inheritance without looking around, okay? Without giving it to the uh, to your sisters and mothers and uh, your daughters, okay? Uh, as well as um, it is again the uh, the same uh, gospel, uh, chapter number twenty-two, uh, the verse number thirteen. So it's uh, it's about. Uh, So uh, it's like publicizing the women. So someone will marry, and then if he goes into the to his house, and then he finds that his wife is doing some certain thing, or uh, he goes in after the marriage, and then after the sexual intercourse, he doesn't find uh, her to be virgin. So then he has to go out to publicize. Okay, and as you know, uh, once some uh, someone came to say that I hear complaining, saying, um, "Yeah, Umm al Mu'minin, I married some girl and." Her parents said that she's virgin, but after the first night, um, I found that she was not virgin. So then said the Aisha said she found it very silly, saying that virginity can go just by jumping or falling down or by bleeding a lot. Okay, so this is like um, uh, opposite of that one, as well as um, the lady who will not be found as like a virgin. So it is the same, uh, the same uh, place, but uh, the uh, verse number twenty-one. So uh, she has to be stoned uh, just right in front of the house or the gate of her father. Okay. Um, as well as uh, if the wife of the um, if the wife of the scholar will commit uh, adultery, so then she has to be uh, burned. So it is uh, Lawin also the chapter number twenty one, the verse number nine. Okay, and in Islam we say that. Um, uh, it is not permissible to implement any punishment by burning, by fire. Okay, because Rasulullah says, "La yu'adzibu bin nari illa Rabbun nar." No one has a right to punish by fire except the Creator of a fire. Okay, as well as the um, letter of uh, Paulus. Okay, to uh, uh, Cor Cornelius. I don't know how to say it. Corinthians, I think. isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so it is maybe the verse that you mentioned. Uh, let your women to, uh, uh, to stay uh, quiet in the uh, church mm -hmm. because they do not have a right to speak. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, because they have been ordered mm -hmm. to, uh, 
uh, to obey. How can that Amru Sharia? And that's how uh, um, religion orders them. But it's, it's a bit strange because Paulus, uh, Paul, St. Paul, he is the one who brought the message that, that there is no such thing as practicing. Hmm. It's only belief, isn't yeah. it? So then, how can that Amru Sharia? That's how uh, religion uh, orders you. So it's strange. So. Uh, <clears throat> فإن أردنا أن يتعلمنا شيئاً ليسألنا رجالهن في المسجد، so also they do not have a right to learn except they have to ask from their own husbands in their houses، لأنه من المعيب للمرأة أن تتكلم في الكتاب، because it is evil for the lady to speak in the in the church. so no religion, no sin and no evil and no reward. that's how it should be. controversial idea again. Yeah, it's a bit strange. As well as... Um, because, Sheikh, uh, a lot of our Christian friends, they say this uh, Old Testament is abrogated. Yeah. But uh, obviously our Jewish brothers do believe in it. But the media never says, oh, look, you Jewish guys, you believe in this stuff. Yeah. And secondly, if it's abrogated, why is Paul saying this? Because that's New Testament exactly, now. It's yeah. a bit strange. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah, It's again the same uh, letter. Uh, but the chapter number 2 and the verse number 12 till 14. So there where he says, لِأَنَّ آدَمَ كُوْنَ أَوَّلًا ثُمَّ حَوَّا وَلَمْ يَكُنْ آدَمْ هُوَ الَّذِي إِنْ خَدَعَ بَلِ الْمَرَأِ إِنْ خَدَعَ فَوَقْعَدْ فِي الْمَعْصِي So there is the uh, verse in which actually Paul is saying that uh, because Adam was created first, of course, and then Hawa, yeah. but it's not the uh, Adam who has been cheated by uh, Iblis, but it is the um, the uh, women who was cheated by uh, yeah. So, but Quran says that uh, Shaitan is the one who is responsible mm -hmm. for lying to them. Okay. Yeah. yeah so, um, as well as uh, as well as the the next is about um, uh, it's uh, the uh, in the book number five, Al Adab, which is in Torah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, chapter uh, number six and the verse number 27 saying that anyone who dies and if he doesn't have any son so then uh, his inheritance will be passed on to his daughter mm. but as you know in our religion both will have share mm. um, yeah, um, as well as the wife will have no because in in the Torah as far as I know uh, so uh, wife doesn't have a uh, uh, right in the inheritance am I right it's, it's only son, and if there is no son, so then daughter. Hmm. Yeah, but then uh, Islamically, as you know, there are two situations. Let's suppose that husband dies, so if husband has a kids, so then uh, wife will get one eighth. But if husband <coughs> does not have anyone, any kids, any descendants, so then w wife should have one quarter. Hmm. Okay, as well as the daughters, uh, if it is only one daughter, so then she will take one third. But if it is more than uh, two, so then they will get two thirds. Hmm. It doesn't matter. If there are brother or there is no any brother, and even there is some situation I don't remember one scenario in which uh, daughters will get more than uh, the the male uh, uh, inheritance. Okay, so there is one scenario I, I don't remember. <coughs> um, okay. Because they do use this very cheap argument about inheritance in the Quran. They yeah. say the daughter gets less than the son. Or the woman gets less than the, you know, the man, yeah. and it's just very cheap because obviously the man has to maintain the woman. So whatever money the woman gets is, you know, she doesn't have to spend it on maintenance. Yeah. So it's just like not even sophistry. It's just like rubbish. Yeah. You know, like silly argument. Yeah. Yeah. As well as maybe the last quotation we can mention is uh, the letter of Paulus to. Uh, Corinthians, yeah. Corinthians, yeah. okay. So the um, uh, the chapter number eleven, the verse number from three till nine. So in there uh, it says um, it says that uh, women should be wearing the scarf, okay. And anyone uh, uh, who does not wear, he, who does not desire to wear, so then she has to shave her head. Mm. Um, they say that's only in church, though. It's, it, it specifies only in church, but then still they don't wear it in church either. In okay, the house yeah, yeah. of God. Because it says, "Kullu imra'atin tusalli or tatanabba." So any lady that prays. Yeah, pray. Yeah. So, so they that, say, yeah. Okay. Or tatanabba means uh, 
uh, receiving a message, receiving a revelation. Hmm. Yeah, so in them two situations, وَرَأْسُهَا غَيْرُ مُغَطَّى فَتَشِينُ رَأْسُهَا لَأَنَّهَا وَالْمَحْلُوقَ شَيْءٌ وَاحِنْ So if she does not cover up her hair, so then she has to uh, shave it. Yeah, so it is actually, um, it's like uh, what they're trying to uh, show about Islam, so it is more applicable on them, mm. uh, I think, because the, the ayat from our side is quite obvious, actually. I, I did hear a very good response from some of our friends. They said, well, we don't follow our book, but you do follow yours. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's going that way. And they did, they did have a good reputation here. <laughs> so, okay. uh, Sheikh, when, uh, I have to ask you about, uh, again, since you mentioned the Christians, yeah. uh, uh, they do bring up the Hadith uh, about, um, I think it's in Bukhari, I have not seen anyone more deficient in intelligence and religion than you, yeah. a cautious, sensible man, maybe led astray, if a woman asked, uh, oh, and you do know it, so... Yeah, of course, the Hadith in Bukhari is very... They would like yeah. to, uh, they, they bring this up, like, every time, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, they yeah. say this is a proof where Rasulullah himself is making comments about... Oh, okay, of course. Uh, you, you know, it's like, it's very easy to, to respond to this question. So, as a consequence of this Hadith, we Muslims, we do not accept the testimony of women in the crime. Hmm. Okay, but in anything else, we accept like a testimony of two ladies as one man. Mm. Okay, and then uh, maybe it is, uh, maybe we, some maybe scientists, maybe they may give us better understanding, psychologists. Mm. Okay, so because um, I'm not a psychologist, so I may not give a better response. But anyway, in terms of, for example, in the crime is quite obvious. Okay, so when crime is committed, women are not very brave enough to watch, you know. Mm. Can you imagine that I'm shooting someone? Mm. Okay, so men will be watching because it's interesting, mm. but women will never watch. Mm. So we do not accept. Or even when they watch, so they will be scared, so they will see some certain strange things also, you know. Mm. So like... Um, a uh, brain will more or less uh, shoots uh, down, you know. Mm. Yeah, so, so maybe the psychologists are the best people to answer this question. Yeah. Uh, G.F. Haddad did make an argument which uh, people didn't like, but he said this hadith was, uh, the Prophet was, uh, peace be upon him, he was teasing them or joking with them. And he said no, this no, is no, part no, of the no, 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 character because, of a Prophet. No, no, no. Because Rasulullah then afterwards he did clarify why. Mm. Because so, so um, uh, deficient religion means not perfect religion. Rasulullah explained that half of your life you are not practicing it. Mm. Because during the monthly bleeding mm -hmm. they do not practice it, isn't mm -hmm. it? Or otherwise it does not mean that they do not have the same religion. They do but they, as Rasulullah did explain in the same hadith, mm. they practice half of it. Mm. So we do pray every day, but half of the month they do not uh, pray. Mm. Am I right? Mm. Yeah. But then uh, also Rasulullah did uh, say in terms of the deficiency of their brain, is not saying that you don't have brain, but uh, Allah uh, comparing the, uh, or equaling the testimony of two uh, women to the testimony of one man. Okay, so that's, that's the difference. And Rasulullah did cl clarify what did he mean. So not in intellect. Text. Sorry? So it wasn't intellect. Yeah, bearing testimony. Rasulullah did uh, mention... Not body. intelligence, just bearing testimony. Bearing testimony. Uh, that's so what Rasulullah said. Oh. No, no, because then, w j just complete that hadith mm. till the end, you will see. Mm. So, deficiency of the brain is the um, a testimony of two ladies equaling testimony of one man. Okay, as well as deficiency of the religion because um, they have monthly bleeding and childbirth, <laughs> so in these periods they do not practice. Mm. But we still carry on practicing in that time. Mm. So, and, so Prophet did explain it. Mm. So in terms of testimony, is it only for crimes? No, in, in crime we do not accept mm. at all. Okay, so let's suppose that, um, uh, let's say, um, uh, uh, three men and two ladies saw two couples committing adultery. We say it's not enough. Mm. It has to be only four men. Mm. Okay, uh, or for example, um, uh, some uh, person was stealing, and one man and two ladies saw it. We say it's not accepted. Mm. We're not going to issue a punishment based on the testimony of the ladies. Mm. Okay, um, uh, but, but then uh, it could reach to some certain extension of tazir. Mm. I did explain the meaning of tazir, but not the punishment. Mm. Okay, but in the uh, normal circumstances, for example, um, uh, test like for example testimony of marriage mm. two witnesses marriage so th they accepted that of course so it's just not hudud, isn't it mainly for hudud hudud any punishment would not accept the testimony yeah, of women so it's better to let the guilty man go free than to punish an innocent man 
Yeah, yeah, because uh, normally lady will be unable to watch and to observe the person committing crime perfectly. Yeah. So there is some it's doubt. About, it's it's about adultery theft. It is psychological squeamishness. Adultery theft and what's the other one? It's the other thing. Murderer. Murderer. Isn't it? murderer. Yeah, murder. So Rap, murder raping. Well. Raping. Raping. Yeah. yeah, and that type of punishment, you know. Yeah. Mm. Would not That's all right then. So basically they, they don't have that burden that somebody yeah. got killed. So, so because D oh. During the crime, uh, punishment people react somehow when you see someone is being slaughtered in front of you. Hmm. Okay, hmm. so even just watch them how they fo how they watch, for example, um, uh, horror. Hmm. Okay, when in the screen some like uh, a monster will shout, they do this. You know, hmm. means they're not seeing how they can bear testimony. Hmm. Or someone is slaughtering the second person, hmm. they do this or they run. So, how you accept that they were watching, they were uh, witnessing it, uh, do you understand? Mm -hmm. And then the Rasul says, avoid the punishments by doubtful things. Mm -hmm. So, lady bearing testimony that a uh, so on person slaughtered the other, so it is uh, uh, like a, uh, uh, a doubtful thing. Mm -hmm. How she could watch it, how she could ob observe that one person is slaughtering the other or shooting. Okay, mm -hmm. so, so that's why. Say, why. Why do we even need to give a rational explanation? That is um, that makes it feel nice. The explanation, like, shouldn't we just say that's it? We just don't accept it. Or, um, that's, that's no, no, because matter. we have in our Why time. Why do we have to say it because? No, I agree with you. No, because in our time, people just uh, uh, they want to see that each single thing, each single spot in Islam yeah. is understandable, so then they can accept Islam. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. so it's for that type of people. And okay. also, people are going to make deductions. So, for example, if you don't explain it. Mm. Or if it isn't an explanation, then people can say deficient in intelligence. <laughs> yeah. So finished. Why not? So then, or or just say this two parts of a hadith is separate. Yeah. So there has to be explanation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can't. You you know. It satisfies the the soul, yeah. And no, but people can take it as a bad thing. They can say, yeah, women are stupid. Women are this. Women are that. Yeah. Isn't it? Mm. So, but it doesn't make sense because we take all this hadith from Hazrat Aisha, isn't it? It's much more important than yeah. testimony on. Some small matter, isn't it? So we're taking yeah, all yeah. this big religious course, thing. Course, yeah, yeah. Uh, so okay, hmm. but yeah, they do use that's their favorite hadith for anyone. Yeah. Okay, anyway, that's all. Inshallah, for today. Alhamdulillah.